So I did an apple cider vinegar um, video previously. However, um, I used the sweet tango apples and added a little too much sugar to the pressed um, apple cider and um, it molded because the sugar content was a little out of whack. So I decided to go ahead and uh, redo it. So I'm scrapping that video and this is your new apple cider vinegar um, tutorial video. So what I used this time, I tried a different kind of apple just because I like to mix it up. Um, I tried the opal apple. So the opal apple actually doesn't brown when you slice it, which is kind of its big feature. But it's also kind of a fairly sweet, neutral apple. And I didn't add any sugar to it. I just chopped it up and um, covered the apples with water and let it ferment. And then um, after fermenting for about a month, it you know, turned into um, kind of a light vinegar. And then I let it go for another couple of weeks and it's just a really nice um, neutral apple cider vinegar uh, flavor so yeah just go ahead and try this process out so always make sure to keep your container covered with either a piece of paper towel or some clean gauze or some kind of tightly woven but yet breathable fabric. So when your apple cider vinegar is fully fermented, which should be about five or six weeks, um, you're gonna see it separate into kind of a more solid type of lumpy thing on the bottom half and then um, a clear liquid on the top. So you can just stir that together um, and then taste it. And if you want, you could add a tiny bit of sugar if it tastes super sour. Um, it should taste like vinegar though. Um, so you just don't wanna add too much sugar unless your apple is extremely sour. So when your vinegar is completed, you can just put a lid on your jar and it will store, should store indefinitely. Again, if you ever see any signs of mold um, on the top of the liquid, you'll have, you do need to toss that batch. It should happen like early on though. You should only see that when it's first in the fermentation process um if it's gonna happen so then you always want to also label the jar with the date i have another jug of apple cider here that's fermenting because i want to make a larger batch since i got the process figured out so this is a larger batch of apple cider vinegar um, but make sure that you put the date on the label so that you know when it started so that you always know like how long it's been fermenting and then yeah you're good to go and you'll have apple cider vinegar you can use this for dietary purposes internally um, you can use it for hair washing for cleansing for for actually cleaning your house household items apple cider vinegar and um, baking soda work well for a number of things combined so yeah have fun and if you do want to just buy it of course it's easier to just go to the store and buy it i really like the briggs apple cider vinegar because it does have the mother in it meaning you can see those little floaty things you can see that it is separated and has kind of a cloudiness and that's uh that means it's raw and unfiltered and has all of the good juju in it that you want for internal purposes if you're drinking it um, or if you're using it for your hair. So happy ACV making.